Welcome everyone back to my true artorious playthrough of Dark Souls. WSQV. I'm going to show you real quick that if you talk to this fella, there's a talk option here. Um, he will take you back to Sen's Fortress if you want to go backwards. We're not going to do that. We're moving onward. I did switch <laughs> I did switch back to my elite uh, night leggings because they're, they're just... They just look better. They don't even look that great, they just look better. Still wearing the same old getup. I thought about upgrading some stuff, but... Or, uh, changing some stuff up and upgrading some weapons to use differently, but... That's why Hander's doing us good. Here we see some knights. So we're gonna aggro this guy. Try and lure him away from the other one so that we can take care of him. I know, I know for a fact that I'm gonna have to do Anne Orlando in multiple videos. It, the place is just too big. Uh, I promise I will not make another 40 minute video. That was just the, the Sense Fortress special, I should call it. These guys actually drop a pretty decent amount of souls. Uh, one thing I must admit, I already came through this area once. Um, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to get to the bonfire, but then I was like, ooh, a chest. So, I'm not thinking to record, I, I took the item out of this chest. So what was in here was Demon Titanite, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I wanted to get to the bonfire so that I could level up. I used those souls before I lost them. So I, I've been through here. I'll show you real quick the bonfires down this way. There is a fire keeper here, so you will get at least 10 refills just from, uh, simply resting. And this is the fire keeper. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome I am. to the lost city of Anorlando. Chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old key, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. So I think there's a clue as to how full of shit the legend is there. Because she calls us chosen undead, but then she questions, like, if you are the chosen undead. It, so it, it kind of states that, that we're chosen undead because we've made it this far, but she's like, well, I mean, if you are chosen undead, you'll be able to make it even further. So that kind of that kind of sets that up. Usually, the way to progress to this level is that way. I'm coming this way real quick to kill these these big old guys, plus to loot these chests. I think there's Twinkling Titanite in one of them, and I'm gonna use that to upgrade my chest piece. Come at me, bro. Come at me, come at me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no. Aha! Oh. We got this. Aha! Real easy kill as long as you stay underneath them. Easier said than done, I know, but... Man, if you hit that shield, it's not going to do anything. As you can see, quite literally, nothing. Bam. Okay, watch the chain. It's backwards, so it's safe. Got some Twinkling Titanite. Alright. This other one, chain is facing forward. You were a liar, sir. And we want to kill it. Easy peasy. Drops the crystal halberd. Which is interesting because Seath is known for crystals. I mean, he's trying, he's trying to experiment with crystals to immortalize himself because the whole idea is that the scales of dragons is what made them mortal and see the scale is 
didn't have the scales. So he's he's using crystals as kind of the the scales like that that's he's trying to use them as his scales. And he he does sort of succeed like he finds the properties of the crystals that makes him immortal. I mean at least we know he's still alive. So uh, reinforce armor. Where is our chest piece? Eastern armor. We still have one left. But, uh... Not well. Good enough for me. Serious for cookie. That's good enough for me. Now onward and outward. I think by the time I make it to the next bonfire, that's when I'm gonna not nah, call it quits. Try to keep the episode nice and short for y'all, so you're not bored out of your minds for another 40 minutes. Something kind of interesting about this area, though, is we see some more gargoyles. So let's let's take them on. Stunned them, but uh, not doing so high. There we go. Didn't get the tail cut, but that's okay because we already have the the gargo gargo halberd. Um, it, that way is a dead end. Uh, there's a contraption that thing moves up and down, so we do have to come this way. Drop down here. I'm gonna come over here for an item. I think it's more Demon Titanite, so, I mean, we're going to have the, the materials necessary to upgrade. Ooh. That gives us another Estes Flask use, so that's neat. Alright, this, this can be hard to figure out. I, when I started playing this game for the first time, I mean, it took me like 20 minutes of just running around this area wondering what I'm doing wrong, where I should go. But you are supposed to uh, walk up this kind of arch thing to continue. So you, you do have to come this way. It's not, in my opinion, that's just brilliant. Brilliant level. That's doing for the backstabs. Alright. And we drop throwing knives. One thing I should point out, I do have the gold serpent ring equipped. I'm looking I'm looking for items now. I'm just looking to find some materials and stuff. Getting ideas for things. We want some range. So let's Black book. Missed. There we go. You can just take the knives. Especially with this shield equipped, they ain't doing anything. And he's just gonna bounce off our shield every every attack he makes. In fact, if he keeps attacking, he's gonna push himself off the ledge like that. Easy peasy. I do highly recommend that you do this area with all great caution. Cut this down. Because, I mean, it is it is super easy to fall down. I'm a little spooked to falling down myself. I, I think I scare myself more than I have to. Oh, you drinking son of a bitch. Well, that's what you get. Some more throwing knives. I'm alright with that. Thanks, Gold Serpent Ring. That reminds me. 
My humanity isn't at 10, but I am going to take a look at my item discovery real quick to see where it's at with the gold serpent ring. So now we're through there. Item discovery, 380. So, I mean, it's, it's way up there. I am going to activate this fog gate, but we're going to turn around and come right back through. Since we still have fall control equipped, I'm going to use it, why not? Let's kind of show you a little bit of a secret area. I almost forgot he was here. I raised my shield knowing, like, I, I should be expecting something. Chain facing backward, safe to open. I should find something that rhymes. And then drop back down here to get to the, the right side again. <laughs> Flattened. And some more throwing knives. Throwing knives in this game are at complete BS. You shouldn't really use them for anything. They're not good in PvP. They're not good in PvE. Just... Just dumb. But... They do make them a little bit better in Dark Souls 2. And just from the footage I've seen of Dark Souls 3... You know, throwing knives are going to be a force to be reckoned with. Going down... So from here, ooh, we can actually get to the rest of the level. But I'm going to kill this guy real quick. And then rest at the bonfire. And then call, call it a day. Um, I think... Uh, I think because I need more levels, I'm going to do the Painted World of Ariamas before I do... Ornstein and Smell. Ooh, I got everything there. Cool. So, I, I will show you the painted world, and I'll show you how cool and neat and interesting all, all that jazz is. I think I need to go down one more. I do. And then, after that, I'm hoping to, to get my faith and intelligence to 20 soon, so I can start putting points in the... Uh, endurance and vitality, because I'm I'm really going to need that. I'm going to need it for for a lot of things. I'm going to need it for Sif, the Grey Wolf. I'm definitely going to need it for the Four Kings. That's that's for really sure. And then, of course, it's going to make the rest of the game much easier if I'm not dying to one or two hits. So. This is why I'm, I'm wearing such heavy armor, is that it protects me from dying so often. And you see here, there's another bonfire. Pick up the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, which we're going to read real quick, because... It kind of gives us a little bit of insight. Uh, Lord Gwyn's Firstborn, who inherited the sunlight... Once wore this ancient ring, boost the strengths of miracles. Lord Gwen's firstborn was a god of war, but his foolishness led to the loss of annals. And rescinded, uh, rescinding of his uh, deific, yeah, deific status. Today, even his name is not known. So we don't, we don't really know him. But it kind of shows that. I think it's more evidence that Slayer is the firstborn. Uh, I say that because he, he inherited sunlight, but then it's kind of implied that he lost it after he, he you know, was kicked out of being a god. So since Slayer's looking for the sunlight, you know, he's, he's looking to, to gain it back and gain back his deity status. So it's just more evidence. Hey, there's Unknown again. What's up, man? Hey, 
Anyway, guys, thanks for watching out. Do what you need to do to show your support, and I hope you like what you see. Have a good one. Bye-bye.